Greetings everyone. Welcome to the Trinity series of screencasts. This first screencast provides an introduction to de novo RNA-seq assembly using our Trinity software. RNA-seq is a powerful technology for studying transcriptomes. However, the analysis of RNA-seq data poses several challenges. In particular, the reads that are generated tend to be much shorter than the transcripts from which they were derived. In our own work, we routinely generate 76 or 101 base reads, and the transcripts we're sequencing range from several hundreds to several thousands of nucleotides in length. One of the goals in leveraging RNA-seq data is to reconstruct the transcripts from which they were derived, enabling the discovery of novel transcripts and splicing isoforms. There are a couple of approaches to reconstructing transcripts from RNA-seq data. And the approach pursued can depend on whether or not a reference genome sequence is available for your organism of interest. If you have a reference genome sequence available, you can align the reads to the genome. Because these are RNA-seq reads and should have introns spliced out, a specialized alignment tool must be used that can map reads to the genome, allowing for gaps that are consistent with the positions of introns in the genome sequence. Then, to reconstruct transcripts, the short read alignments, instead of the reads themselves, are assembled into gene structures. In an alternative approach, the reads can be assembled directly in the absence of any genome sequence. Then, if you happen to have a genome sequence, the transcripts can be aligned to the genome to gain further insights into intron and exon structures. There are tools that exist that implement these strategies. Uh, the Tuxedo software suite is popular for applying the process on the left, where the top hat utility is used to generate spliced alignments of the short reads, and then the couplings tool performs the alignment assembly operation to generate the transcript structures. In the case of the alternative uh, genome-free method, Trinity is a highly effective tool for de novo transcript reconstruction. We published Trinity a couple years ago in Nature Biotechnology, and since that time it's become fairly popular based on uh, the number of software downloads, and the number of literature citations. Uh, the continued software maintenance and development as an open source software project has attracted a number of new contributors to the code base. In particular, contributions from developers at Indiana University, Dresden, Germany, and Cicero, Australia have all led to great increases in runtime performance. And shown here is a plot that shows the runtime of different versions of Trinity as a function of the size of the data set to be assembled. The original version, as run on a couple of different systems, was fairly slow. The current version, thanks to work over the last year with our collaborators, is now 10 times faster than the original. Trinity is freely available on our SourceForge website, which is trinityrnaseq.sourceforge.net. Our website has extensive documentation on how to install and run the software. You can download it by clicking, by clicking on the link on the page. Running Trinity on typical RNA-seq datasets requires a high-performance computing environment. The software requires a Linux operating system. The amount of memory and storage required depends on the size of your RNA-seq dataset. We recommend that you have approximately 1 gig of RAM per 1 million Illumina reads. A typical datasets involve anywhere from 20 million to 100 million paired end reads. And we typically run Trinity on machines that have 256 gig or 512 gig of RAM. The amount of disk storage required is also about 1 gig per 1 million reads. These compute resources tend to be available at organizations that are already working with next-gen sequence data. If you have data sets to analyze and you don't have the compute resources required, there are other computing resources available to you at no cost. Uh, the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center makes resources available to USA researchers, and the data academic grid provides substantial compute resources to all academic researchers at free of cost. Both groups support Trinity along with many other tools. Trinity is a tool that is run from a terminal's command prompt. Here's an example of a basic Trinity assembly command using paired end reads in FASTQ file format. There are just a handful of parameters to specify. The first shown is sequence type, indicating the formatting of the read files. Here we specify FQ to indicate FASTQ file format. The JM parameter indicates the lower limit for the amount of memory to allocate. If you're running Trinity in a high memory server, you might allocate more memory to speed up the initial stages of the assembly process. 
We then specify the file names for the paired in read files. We use the parameters left and right, uh, but you can think of these as the number one and number two read files. Finally, we indicate the maximum number of threads to use on the machine. Currently available high performance servers tend to have several multi core CPUs, and this parameter allows you to take advantage of the multi threading capabilities that enable parallel processing. Once the Trinity Assembler finishes, it will generate a single output file that contains the assembled transcripts, all in FASTA format.